Uh, this essay is about uh, sexism, sculptors, and Dylan Thomas. Uh, Dylan Thomas um, did not live a long life. Um, but he understood something. He understood something about death. Um, and I've done the dance twice. And I get it. And uh, Dylan Thomas said, uh, do not go gently into that good night. Old age should burn and rave against the close of the day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Dylan Thomas was, it was able to encapsulate what dying, what, you know, you know dance, dancing with death, dancing with death has two options. Either you sit and quake in a corner and pout, or you go and rage, rage against the dying of the light. I mean, you, you've got two choices. Just, I mean, and, and you know, that's a general comment. And so I have. <laughs> Look at my webpage. I mean, that is a long rage, rage against the dying of the light. You, you have a legacy to live. And you have a legacy to give to the next generation. And you are the one that makes your legacy in this world and leave it to this world after you leave. You go belly up. And to leave a legacy of sexism just rattles me. Um, Demonica did a charging bull. And a female artist did the Fearless Girl, which I wrote an article about, and the link to that article is in this new article. And it just irritated the daylight out of me that some old guy was pouting because his bull was diminished. <laughs> yeah. The bull, the artist's bull, his personality is full of it. Um, and, and, a, and, a, and a female sculptor did the Fearless Girl, and it was a, if there's anything that's emblematic of her time, that is the sculpture. This young girl is probably seven, eight years old, still in this, standing in front of the charging bull and standing in front of the charging bull, like, come and get me. Men aren't used to that, um, that overt, here I stand. They're used to saying that to women, you know, we're in charge. But when a girl says that, it rattles them. Good. And then there's a new sculptor, a new sculpt, a sculptor who made a new statue that he put next to the fearless girl. And it was as arrogant and as stupid as Demonicus. I've done the dance with death twice. Seventy four years old. I plan to outlive George Burns, which means I have another over a quarter of a century. And I'm not sure that I'm going to outlive George Burns, but I swear to God that I will rage, rage against the dying of the light. In part because it is needed. We have a lot of fools on the hill. Some of them in Washington and some in New York. 
rage, rage. Or you can sit in the corner and quake. Dance with death and you realize that you're not immortal. That you have a finite time here on earth. And how you work and live your life determines the legacy that you'll leave to the next generation. In my next, hopefully, 25 or 26 years, I will rage against stupidity, especially when it has to do with sexism. So uh, thank you for uh, watching my venting and ranting, uh, and thank you for uh, reading this essay. In the meantime, you take care.